My name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm still a targeted individual. Uh, it's about 10:30, 11, and I just woke up. And um, Paige was all upset about something, slamming things around and stomping around in her boots and huffing and puffing and. I have a really hard time waking up to that <clears throat> because it sets off this panic attacks and anger and oh we are such a mess we really are a mess this targeting has has you know look at this <laughs> knouched it's a look knouched and your face is all crumpled up take this fucking medication so that I don't spend every waking moment huddled up in a little ball going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I've been reduced to a fucking useless, completely disabled, uh, terrified, it's, it's awful. And of course, as soon as they switch it off, I change back to something else, to the, you know, I get a moment, uh, if I get a moment of peace, I'm blessed. I get this ringing in my ears. Day and night, 24-7, 365. And they turn it up, and they turn it down, they turn it up, and they turn it down. And you can hear, you can feel it, like, in training you into these different states, and every you try to relax, it gets louder. Every you try to sleep, it gets louder. And they start the subliminal hypnosis. Be very afraid. You have to be afraid. You know, and all the shit they say over and over and over. It's not supposed to affect you, right? Like, oh, you're a big strong guy. It doesn't affect me. Bullshit. It affects everybody. That's the problem. Most people don't even have a clue. They think I'm talking out my ass. They think that I'm I'm insane or something. You know, I think I have a fairly good grasp of this technology, at least the basic basics of it. Here, we're talking about pulsed microwaves, beaming them at people from phased array antennas, which means you can point the signal, you can direct the signal, you can multiplex the signal, you can recombine, change the phase, you can make the signal into any frequency or sub-frequency you want, and direct it. It's a way of directing extremely low frequency waves also. I mean, all of this is possible, but I believe what we're using here, I don't know, man, I've been reading this Tom Bearden stuff. And, uh, he seems like a very bright man, very able, capable physicist. Um, and he leads you through the, it's, it's all done on the, oh my god, America better catch up on these weapons. Because the Russians have been doing this for 20 years and they know what they're doing, kind of thing that I read. And it was from the 90s, um. Excuse me. And, uh, you know, Mr. Bearden uh, talks about, uh, uh, he talks about quantum physics, quantum reality, the nature of reality, the nature of the mind, uh, photon collapse, wave collapsing moment that mind and matter interact and that speed, velocity is rotation and that all photons have, uh, and photons being particle wave functions in the electromagnetic spectrum have also this other information that they move back and forth in the time domain, not in just the X, Y, Z space, uh, three space, and that um, time coherent 
phase modulated and phase conjugate waves. Uh, you know, I, I didn't read the whole thing. I was half asleep. Um, but basically, basically what he's saying, this is tobacco, by the way, is that, uh, how does he put it? It, it? Basically, what he's saying is that the, the the scalar electromagnetic function of the traditional um, transverse wave, um, longitudinal electromagnetic waves, that uh, the scalar function of it. I, I don't fully understand this. Is not fully understood. Now he he doesn't talk about this entirely. What he talks about is he doesn't talk about how to create scalar waves. I, I didn't get through it all. See, my brain is so foggy in the morning. Um, forget it. I got the high frequency. I can't think anymore. Never mind. They don't want me figuring this stuff out, folks. And this is the thing that's going to save our lives, figuring this out real quick. Um, to my belief, uh, to any technology, even a technology that goes through the earth and goes through water and goes through metal and whatever, like it's not even there, uh, tracks underground, in buildings, through Faraday cages, the whole works. The only way we're going to combat physical and mental attacks from this technology is to figure out exactly how it works and then figure out what materials or metamaterials are required to block, scatter, uh, or change the, the time, phase, domain in random ways. Uh, I mean, we're talking about some very sophisticated technology, and I don't think it's as simple as uh, putting some tin foil around your house because I've tried it. It doesn't do shit. You can block out some Wi-Fi signal. You can block out a little bit of the cell phone signal, but uh, we're way beyond this now, folks. We're into uh, scalar electromagnetics. Harp is just that a phased array of such huge magnitude that it can control the weather that it can, can cause earthquakes and if they wanted to they could probably split the earth into two you know I mean uh, Tesla said he could do it I'm sure he could have it's no joke you know this technologies uh, that's one of the things he was talking about his big scare tactic is that Technologies are getting smarter, smaller, cheaper, more powerful, and ubiquitous. And so the eventual, you know, I don't believe that. That's man's inhumanity to man. The eventual outcome of this is that a tiny little thing that everybody can have that's powerful enough to destroy the world, I don't believe that. I think that we are fools running around in a fear-based paradigm this is a stupid video it, 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 I'm not making any sense here and uh, the thing that gets me is when I try to explain the depth and breadth of this conspiracy and the levels of society that are involved, and the money and the power and the... Ch I mean, this is a forced paradigm change on humanity, folks. What am I? I'm in the way. That's all. They're using me for... for, for predictive human uh,
behavioral problem solving computations. They're doing neural mapping of, of uh, listen, remote radio control of the human organism has been possible for years. They've been testing it for years. And now they're just torturing and killing people with it. They've been doing that for years. Where this is going, why they're doing it, I don't know. You know, like I said, forced paradigm change, breakaway society, um, these creatures that everybody thinks are aliens, who the fuck knows? Maybe it's all a hoax, maybe it's real. Nobody's talking, it's, it's cognitive dissonance. So here we are, stuck with an intractable problem with, uh, it's worse than cancer. It's worse than cancer because at least there's treatments for cancer, you know? All right, I've said enough negative crap. It's really, really hard to be positive when they got this thing tuned to, to stupid, afraid, angry. And it's all there, man. They, they, they dosed us, they chased us around, they recorded our, our neuro reflect, you know, the interferometry, uh, signatures, whatever you want to call it. It's like we don't even have terminology for this technology yet because it's, it's covert, it's secret, it's, it's future, it's now, you know, but they've been hiding it and, and people like us, we have to figure it out and explain it in some way that other people can understand. And um, we get told we're insane and blah, blah, blah. These are all part of the, the societal programming. It's all part of the programming we've been exposed to since birth. Every single day of our lives, everything we look at, every television show, every bit of media, every internet page, every photograph, every everything. Reworked by AI. Come on. I mean, uh, so the only thing left to do as I look at the sky and I see these big white puffs of artificial aluminum toxin lace Morgellon filled clouds is love one another and if you believe in the creator of this matrix of reality we're in then good God bless you, you know, good for you and if you don't I don't know what gets you through the night or the day because almost every target I've talked to has nothing left but to turn to prayer. You know, it's like they rip away every foundational cognitive element that makes you you. people can adapt that fast, and that's part of the, the, the thing, you know. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this. I don't know what's going to happen. None of us do, actually, and I guess that should be the fun part of it, rather than the scary part, right? God, I look like I've aged 20 years. I have. Anyway, I, I want to thank uh, everybody who gave their lives in conflict mineral areas and in slave labor camps and everywhere else to make it possible for me to put my message out there. We've got to change this, folks. God bless you all.